Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to share my experience with AWS Lifecycle Manager, a tool that has completely changed how I handle EC2 instance and EBS volume backup. I will walk you through how I used AWS Lifecycle Manager to automate tasks that I, that I was previously doing manually with the various AWS services. Before we dive into the demo, let's first understand what is AWS DLM. AWS, AWS Data Lifecycle Manager is a service that allow you to automate the backup of EC2 instance and EBS volume without the need of any additional third party tool or service. The best part, it is free. You, you only pay for the storage associated with the backup, not for the service itself. Now, let me share a bit about my personal use case before I discovered EC2 Lifecycle Manager. I used to manually create backup of my EC2 instance and EBS volume. To do this, I wrote a Lambda function using a Python and Boto3 library. This function would take a backup and I, and I also added a logic to delete the older snapshot. This was necessary to avoid the unnecessary cost from outdated backup and the outdated data. However, there were several issues with this approach. I had to manually select and track EC2 instances. If an instance was not in a running state, the script would fail. Another problem was I used tags to identify resources, but that means manually adding and updating tags across instances. Plus, I had to keep monitor the Lambda script to ensure it was running correctly. Then I found AWS DLM, a managed service that could automate both backup creation and deletion of older older backup for free and that's exactly what i'll show you how to do in today's video i've also written a detailed blog post about this on medium be sure to check it out i've added link in the description below for you now let's dive into aws data lifecycle manager and get started with the configuration now let's dive into AWS Data Lifecycle Manager and get started with the configuration. As mentioned, this video help you to automate the EBS volume and EC2 instance backup and manage the retention policy. We will jump directly into implementation. For this demo, I have already set up an EC2 instance with tag DLM equals to true. This tag will be used in a DLM configuration which I will explain shortly. So here is the instance and the tag which has DLM equals to true. On that note, let's get started and configure our first DLM policy. So to do that, go to EC2 instance, Elastic Block Store and select Lifecycle Manager. On this page, you will get option to create new, new Lifecycle policy. Select custom policy for now and policy type as EBS backed AMI and click on next step. Here you need to configure policy and for that you need to target a resource by using tag. Since we created a tag called DLM and its value is set to true, I will add. So basically this will add all the resources or rather this would target all the EC2 instance which has tag DLM equals to true. Now you can specify a short description. Now add a description for your policy. In this case, I am creating an AMI for EC2 instance on which uh, I've hosted a dev application. So I'll provide policy name as dev application backup. You can provide any, any policy name. You can leave the default IAM role selected tags again optional you can uh, skip this part make sure that the policy state status is enabled make sure that the policy status is enabled and the next is instance reboot choose whether or not the instance should be rebooted during the backup process i'll choose no reboot no reboot but if you need a reboot you can select yes and click on next on this page you need to configure scheduler you can schedule 
or you can have maximum four different schedulers in this video i will go with one so i'll provide scheduler name as daily backup i need frequency as daily but you can select daily weekly monthly yearly or also you can specify the custom cron expression i'll go with the daily option also you can specify a period this is basically it sets the period between the backup example every 20 uh, 24 hours 12 hours or 8 hours i'll select the 12 hour for now then you can specify a starting time for example if i want to initiate my backup or or if i want to initiate my backup to be triggered at specific time you can provide that time in utc time format so i'll go with the default one or 9 utc and then retention time there are two different types of retention policy one is count which specify how many how many backups you want to keep example you can have latest two or three uh, backup available in in your uh, amis or you can specify the age you can delete the backups which are older than certain number of days or month and you have option to to set retention type age uh, within certain days weeks months or year so for this example i'll go with count i want to keep two amis optional uh, advanced setting again it's optional if you want the backup ami to inherit the instance tag you can enable this option which is copy tags from resources and the and, and the dlm will add the additional variable just to identify that particular backup was taken by dlm then there are some advanced configuration which which i will cover in the next next video so on this page click on review policy so click on review policy to proceed then review policy once everything looks good click on create policy so this will take few seconds to get created verify the policy details are as per uh, as per your requirement now the scheduler will take care of creating backup of your ec2 instances or ebs volume at scheduled time at scheduled frequency you can sit back and relax while aws dlm automate the backup process for you i hope you enjoyed this introductory video on aws data lifecycle manager I know I skipped over a few advanced configuration but don't worry I am working on a follow up video where I will go deeper into all the available settings and options in DLM. I am sure you will be amazed by how much flexibility it gives you in managing your EC2 instance and EBS, EBS backup. If you found this video helpful please like comment and share it with someone who might benefit from this tool your support means a lot thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe for more aws and devops tips and tutorials thank you